Vice President Kamala Harris to challenge GOP nominee Donald Trump in the fall. Biden becomes the first incumbent since Lyndon Johnson in 1968. That was at the height of the Vietnam War to not seek re-election. Fox 11's Laura Diaz, she's here now with the very latest. Laura. It was a pivotal moment, breaking news, if you will. Of course, the vice president is not yet officially the Democratic nominee. But all day, one by one, and then in bunches, Biden delegates became Harris delegates. So, I'm going to stop that right there real quick. Um, I don't need to play too much of that. People know the story. Um, I made a real, like an hour-long video and vlog or whatever, and I was talking about this, but you know, I decided to scrap it and just try to do something really short and quick. Um, let me, let me just say, I'm going to say this real quick. If people get it, they get it. They don't, they, they don't fuck them. But this whole, if you can see things are changing very quickly, this whole thing with, with, Kamala Harris is not the harbinger of your, you know, of, um, you know, something good. It's the harbinger of something bad, right? If you don't notice, right? Like the, 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 the correlation between Joe Biden and Lyndon B. Johnson. You know what I mean? Like certain things you understand or you don't. I'm not gonna explain it. The correlation between Joe Biden and Lyndon B. Johnson. Right, Civil Rights Act, um, different things. Um, the correlation between Obama and Kamala Harris and blacks in America, different, you know, just different things. Um, you need to, you know, if you don't understand those things at this point, it's too late for you. You know what I mean? Like, in black, like black people, if you don't understand, if, if you didn't get it with Obama and then they pull the same shit with Harris and you still don't get it, you know, oh, this Indian woman. Oh, no, now she's cosplaying as a black woman. Oh, yeah, as a black woman. Yeah, vote for her, right? I mean, if, if you don't kind of, like, start getting it, it's just too late for you at this point. Kamala Harris already said, I'm not doing nothing for, I'm not interested in doing nothing for black people or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, this ain't your, rep your reparations candidate or, or nothing. This ain't your nothing candidate. You got nothing coming. You know, very little. The basics. You'll get whatever anybody else get, but that's about it. Right? Might even a little less. And so, but she's the harbinger then. Harris is a harbinger. I mean, I hate that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to be like, I don't, I don't like to be saying shit like that. But it's just like, I can't tell you something that's not true. Like, I watch these channels and different shit. And not much of it. I watch a little bit of it. And you start hearing people talk about, oh, yeah, this is the age of Aquarius. And then we're lining up with the chakras and then the, um, the, the, the Galactic Federation is coming and they're going to balance out people's chakra in the universe. And um, it's going to be Kumbaya and we're going to all be healed and Jesus is, saves everybody. You know, whatever, right? Like, I, I mean, I don't know. I guess I could be saying some bullshit like that. But it's just not true. I mean, if you were living in Gaza Strip right now, or Yemen, or somewhere, would you want somebody to be talking some shit like that to you? Or Ukraine, or Poland on the Ukraine border, right? Where you got passport bros telling, you know, stupid Negroes to go look for white women in the edge of a war zone. But it's ridiculous. Would you want somebody just to keep telling you all this bullshit, but you obviously can't see what's going on in the world? What's going on, like, right around you? Let I me. Mean, so I could be talking, you know, I, I could say all this, you know, hocus pocus, you know, bullshit, everything's coming up roses. It's just not. And so I can't say that. Some things are, some things aren't, right? Like, if something's good, then I say, I point it out, I say, oh, that's good. Or oh, that's working out correctly, right? And so you point to something else and say, well, that's bad. That's not going to work. That's just how it goes. Or something is happening, something is not. You can't, you know, and you can't paint a rosy picture out of every fucking thing when one doesn't exist. And so I'd like to do that. I'd like to just, you know, oh, I'm just going to say, you know, like YouTube. They don't, they don't want you to say anything. I, some, 
particularly if you're black, they don't want you to say anything, you know, that could be perceived as negative. They want you to do like silly cat videos, you know, with cowboy uniforms on your cat or something. I don't know. But that's not the time we in. And so I got to tell the truth. Kamala Harris is a harbinger of death and destruction. You know what I mean? And somebody got to tell you. All right? She's the harbinger. Nothing good is going to happen from this point on. Nothing. You are going... I'm going to say this and I'm going to go. I'm going to try to keep this down to a couple of more minutes. But... It's not hard to see what's going to happen. Look at Ukraine. Look at Palestine. Just look around you. Those chickens are going to come home to roost. Right? Look at what happened to Trump. You look at what happened to Biden. All right, you think something's good going to come out of this? You have to be out of your fucking mind. Not to see how this is lining up. To understand this, this Biden's relationship with Lyndon B. Johnson, his connection. You don't understand any of the implications here. Right? It's all lining up for one thing. And it's going to get darker before it's get. Uh, darker before it gets brighter unfortunately like if I saw it I'm like oh shit yeah, this is gonna be it's about to be awesome no more war in Ukraine Gaza peace deal Ukraine peace deal Kamala Harris elected first woman fake black president oh yeah you know reparations for Negroes you know uh, uh, citizenship for all illegals open borders everybody can come into America everybody you know uh, the KKK disbanded, all white people, you know, whatever, you know, love blacks now, no more white supremacy. You know, like, if if, if all this, you know, uh, pie in the sky bullshit was happening, I would just say it was, right? Make America great again. Like, I, like I'm, not a, I'm not a bullshit politician, you know, and all that. I'm not selling nothing. I don't have to make up fake propaganda. I just tell a lot, I just call balls and strikes and call it like I see them. This is going from a storm of shit to a shit storm. Very soon. Unfortunately. And black people, they're going to be distracted by Kamala Harris like they was distracted by Obama. It's unfortunate. Right? And while this whole thing gets flushed down the toilet, and then right before a pile of bricks fall on their head, they're going to realize it's going to be too late. Them bricks are going to crush them. They're going to realize, come on, her shit is a distraction. From the impending pile of bricks that's about to fall on your fucking head. Kamala Harris is a harbinger of death and destruction. I mean, it is what it is. Like, I, I mean, I, I don't know how else to put it. I could, you know, I could be like, try to like pretty it up, but I don't really got time for that shit. Right? She's a bad omen. And ain't nothing gonna follow her but bad things, particularly if you black. This is gonna be bad, man. I mean, somebody ought to tell you. It, you're approaching the end of... Black people are approaching the end of the road in America. You know, it's, it is what it is. It's the end of the road in America. You're approaching the exodus in America. You're not approaching reparations. You're approaching um, the, an, the exodus as written in the book of, of Exodus <laughs> in the Bible. In the Torah, I believe. Right? You're approaching the exodus where you want to leave. You may have to leave. You're going to leave or you're going to die in America. Right? That, they're going to be your two choices over the next couple of years in America. You're going to be leaving or you're going to be dying. Right? 
Some of you going to be leaving before the exodus. Some of you going to be leaving during the exodus. And some of you going to die in America. That's just how it's going to go, unfortunately. Right? That's just the breakdown. I mean, it's all of a breakdown, but I don't know if I'm going to try to get into all of that in this video, this vlog. But Kamala Harris is like a harbinger of bad things to come, particularly if you're black. Not anything good, but you too, most black people are too stupid to figure that out. Like black women. Black women is about to face a nightmare in America. But they see Kamala Harris and they think, oh, yeah, girl, we, we black girl magic or something dumb. That's the shit, I don't know what they, whatever they talking about. Not realizing they're about to face shit, uh, dark days that they never thought would exist again in America. And it ain't Project 25 <laughs> or whatever the fuck they talking about. It's something much worse than that. And... You know, Kamala Harris can't save you. Not that she wanted to, but want to anyway. Yeah, Indians don't like black people. I mean, I hate to tell you this. Indian, most Indians hate black people. They run apartheid in, in India against blacks in 2024. Stupid. Just FYI, I mean. So... You're in between a rock and a hard place. You know, the only if you're black, if you're smart, the only thing that really help you is to be realistic and prepare for that real that reality. If you're preparing for the fake reality that they are offering to you, then you're setting yourself up for failure. You're gonna fail and implode. You see, but if you prepare for the for the actual reality then you may have a chance but somebody telling you like listen you got to vote for Kamala Harris in November your future is in Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and Barack Obama or I don't know even Donald Trump your future is in Donald Trump or whatever and America the Constitution and blah 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 if you bought into that you're about to die, unfortunately. Like, you, you sign your own death certificate, like, prematurely, if you brought into that. Because you're going to be listening to all that shit, and you're not going to be preparing for the, for the real reality. You're going to be trying to, you know, involve yourself in a false reality. And then when that shit come crashing down on your head, you're going to be like, well, wait a minute, I thought, you know, what well, you thought wrong? What do you mean what you thought? You had an option. Nobody forced you to believe that shit. They just presented it to you and you ate that. You lapped that shit up. You just ate it up. You didn't have to accept that as your reality or as, you know, your choice or whatever. You just went went along with it until it was too late for you to, you know, back out. Until there, no, there was nowhere to go. but down and that's where like America is right particularly like the Negro in America there's nowhere else for them to go but down <laughs> but they think Kamala Harris they see Kamala Harris and Obama they say hey we going up bad news nowhere to go but down you blow your political capital that system is, is finished for, particularly for you for, for so-called black people, descendants of slaves. They're running every kind of psyop they can to totally dismantle that shit. And now it's getting ready to move, you know, like it's a cold war, hot war. It's going to move to some hot shit now. Black people was in a cold war, now they're getting ready to be in a hot war. Basically. In other words, right? What do you think all these immigrants is for? You see? And so, you know, you're not going to have to argue with 
Myron Gaines on Twitter. Oh, you know, all this shit that's going on. This controversy. Shit is going to get real. I'm going to say this and I'm going to go. A couple of things to watch. I'm going to give you some key points to watch. Right? Because I know, you know, no man, nobody really listens to this shit anyway. But if they did, a couple of key points to watch. Trump. Don't take your eyes off of Trump. Trump. And then Harris. And then that's it. Then this game, this go time. Just watch those two things. You see? Watch Trump and what happens to him. Watch hers and what happens to her. But watch what happens with her. And then you'll very you'll be able to tell once those two shoes drop, you'll be able to track your fate moving forward. Right? So you say this guy's being bombastic. I mean I'm just telling you the truth. I'm not being bomb basket. I'm just outlining was what you can with the same shit. The same shit I'm saying now is the same shit I was saying uh, six months ago. And now we're here. You see, as Thanos said, I am inevitable. Right? It's inevitable. It's in, it's inevitable. I am inevitable. You see. I'm just telling you the inevitable and. People see it, not just me, other people. But now we see how it's shaping, it's going to shape up. Watch Trump, watch hers, watch what happens. Watch. And then you'll start to understand, right? Very quickly that the ship is going down. You'll be like, oh, oh, I get it now. I mean, it's too late, but. It's too late for all of us. You're on a, you're sitting on a fucking Titanic, and it's hit an iceberg, and nobody knows it yet. The problem is, the time to prepare for emergency is not during an emergency. So the, by by the time you figure it out, everybody will be trying to run for the door. It's way too late. There is no fixing, there is no fix for it, or none of that shit. It's going to implode. Watch, so just watch Trump at this point, because you know, you need, it doesn't happen by in and of itself. The things that are going to happen, they need triggers and dominoes. So if you watch Trump, you'll notice, you'll, have, you'll, be, you'll be like, oh, you watch Biden, okay, now you're starting to see, now you see Trump, right? See? Just keep your eye on him. See what happens to him in November. Right? Then you watch her. See what happens with her. Right? And then, then you'll start to really be able to tell. Not to mention all the other stuff that's going on. Now, I could say, hey, take a look at what's going on in Israel and Ukraine. But for, for the American idiocracy, that's a little bit too far. So I'm, I'm going to give you, I would say, you know, just watch those two. That's close to home. And you can kind of get a gauge at which direction this shit is going. Because then after that, shit is going to get to popping. You see? As, as, because as the political shit break down, everything else is going to break down. And they, that shit is, can't be held together. They're going, this is, that shit is imploding. That shit is a hot potato, you see? And so as that break as as that starts to break down, the whole system starts to break down. And you know, that that's the problem. And and nobody has faith in the you know, nobody has faith in the system anymore. Then you know, so and and as we see that start to break apart, then you, you know, maybe some people, they'll come to a realization like, oh, oh, man, this shit looks crazy. It's looking crazy out here. 
damn, this ain't what I thought it was going to be. Let me say this. I'm going to go for real. Your life will never be the same. Nobody's life in America will ever be the same after November. But let me say January 2025. Let's push it out to be, you know, conservative. Because this may take a little longer than I think. But I'm going to say January 2025. Nobody's life will ever be the same again. And you said, what do you mean? Ah, I, I'm, I'm going to just, you know, I already said it. I'm not going to rehash that. Just wait and see. There's a couple pointers to look at. So if you look at those things, and then you look at 2025, January, and you kind of gauge those things, and you gauge the activity around those things, you'll be able to tell what I mean. You'll be able to start to see, like, oh, damn, yeah, he's right. It ain't going to be nothing sweet, you know. So, anyway, I, I ain't want to make this too long, but, yeah, just watch those things, you know. And, and just understand, like, you know, like, this is the Titanic, basically, you know what I mean? Better get yourself a lifeboat or something, right? Better get yourself a lifeboat because this is a Titanic and it's going down. You see? And Trump can't save you. Kamala Harris ain't going to be able to save you. Obama ain't going to be able to save you. None of that. 